Hello and welcome to another AV14 video on the Radio Master TX16S. My name is Jonathan. Today I'm going to be telling you about what weight and offset do in the transmitter and how to program your spoilerons and flapperons. I apologize that it took this long to produce this video. Originally I had a whole production idea planned out and it turned out to be way too much. So I thought, you know what, I'm just going to keep things really simple. And here we are. Alright, so we're going to hit our model key over to mixes and for demonstration purposes I'm going to be using my flaps mix all right now you'll notice we have weight and offset now by default weight is always a hundred percent and offset is always zero percent in the radio master TX 16s now basically what weight is is you're adjusting the overall throw of your servo so if we move from 100% down to 80%, instead of going from negative 100 to positive 100, your servo is going to go from negative 80 to positive 80. This is helpful if you're assigning rate switches or you want to change the overall sensitivity of a control surface. Now you'll notice that when we went to 80% on the weights for our flaps, the flaps actually came down a bit and that is because the flap servos by default are at negative 100. So by adjusting the weight, you're changing the default position to negative 80. So now our flaps will start at negative 80 and end at positive 80. All right, so let's change the weight back to 100%. And now let's talk about offset. Offset is essentially the center of your servo in that mix. So let's use our flaps again as an example. If we change our offset, and here I'm going to change it to 30. We'll, we'll do 35. So if we change our offset to 35, our flaps default position is now set to 35%. And if you see on the Tundra here, that means they are 35% down. And if we actually activate our flaps, they continue to go down, but they start at 35%. So you're basically just changing the default position of your control surface. And this is helpful for when we are creating flapperons or spoilerons. We can adjust the default position of that control surface by flipping a switch. So in the case of our flapperons or spoilerons, we basically need to flip a switch that tells the radio to change the default position to positive or negative 100, which will give us flapperons or spoilerons, and the servos will move around that value of offset. All right, so now let's put this knowledge of offset to use. So first I'm going to copy the mix of my aileron, I'm going to hit edit, and all I'm going to do is change the offset to negative 100, and now what that's going to do is it's going to change the default position of the aileron. So now if I give my stick a wiggle, the right aileron moves around negative 100. Alright, so once we have the offset dialed in, we're going to go down to switch and I'm going to assign it to, let's see, we'll do my long one here, my SB um, Actually, we're going to do SA. Alright, there we go. So now, when the SA is in the up position, your ailerons move freely. And when the SA switch is in the down position, or actually the middle position, the right aileron moves around negative 100, which gives us that flap on effect. All right, and in order to program the left aileron, it's basically a rinse and repeat process. So we're going to grab our left aileron here. We're going to make a copy of the mix. Then we're going to edit the copy of the mix. And we are going to change the offset so it is in the down position. For me, that is, again, negative 100 is all the way down. Okay, and once we are at negative 100, we can assign our switch. So I think I did SA at the middle. Yep, and there it is. So now, here are both of the ailerons without, without the flap rounds mix. And here is with the flap rounds mix, you can see that both of the ailerons start at negative 100 and move from there. And now to create the spoilerons, it is the same process, 
However, it is backwards, so that's not what I wanted to do. So if we go here to our, this was our right ailerons, flap around mix, and we change this offset to positive 100, the the aileron's default position will be full or positive 100, which means it's going to be in the full up position, giving us a spoiler on effect. So now when I hit the switch, you'll notice that the default position of the right aileron is up, and when I move the stick, the right aileron servo moves around that default position. Anyways guys, that is going to be all for today's video. I hope I answered some questions about programming the TX-16S. If not, feel free to drop a question in the comment section. And with that, I have a few things coming up. I'm going to be posting a video on the E-Flight Valiant, um, sort of a one year of ownership and flying review. Alongside that, I have a lot of parts coming on the way for my 4-inch quad build. I'm super excited about that. I'm going to be posting a build montage as well as a few videos from the first flights that I've had with it and then a buddy of mine actually from RC Bros Productions link to him in the description are going to be building an FPV long range nitro RC plane so I'm going to be posting a lot about that I am super duper excited so subscribe if you want to see those projects and I'll catch you in the next one